Oh, I'm Scott Reed, I'm KMSX RFB. Uh, I'm a COMT, uh, uh, certified in the uh, CESA Homeland Security. And so what we have here is one of the, not, not, what they re not what they require, but this is a recommendation when you go through the class to build your own communications kit or technical kit. So when you're out in the field and you're faced with challenges, we have the ability to do multiple different things. Um, starting with, we got some switches, some B connectors for phone lines, some basic tools, some basic networking equipment, label makers, testing equipment to SWR meters, um, network, network testing cables, putting ends on cables, punch down tools. Um, sometimes we're working with phone systems, uh, even though we've got newer voice over IP systems, but you know, we may be required to drop some analog. So I've got some 66 blocks and some analog phones. So that way, if I just need to put a ring down circuit between here and there, that's real easy to do. Some basic um, zip ties, T, T cards, a Bendex King radio, which is really good to feel programmable. Um, portable soldering station that works off a Craftsman battery. Uh, different types of network connectors for doing different networking ideas. And, um, and then in the bottom of the kit, we'll go back over to the kit here. So up here, I've got silver satin cable. So if you're not familiar with silver satin, this is commonly used for telephones. Um, cell phone cables for ch charging different devices, different types of ends, portable hard drive, cable wraps, USB cables, a dummy load, up to 50 watts. Uh, it's nice for testing out radios if need be. And some basic Cat5 cabling. And uh, even though there's not a lot of them out there, uh, a floppy disk drive. Uh, it, you never know what you're going to encounter. And then obviously probably some of the more important things is uh, rain right notepads, right and rain. So this can get wet and you can still be able to do what you need to do. And the bottom, T-car holder for checking out equipment. Um, down to manuals for different pieces of equipment, how to wire a telephone block, amateur radio quick reference guide, and then like for my Aries group, I just have some basic frequencies and phone numbers that I need to get a hold of people with. Um, however you build it, there's no real wrong way to build this. It's what you think that you're going to need, and it's always evolving. You may figure out that, oh, I don't need this anymore, but I need this now. And every incident, you'll figure that out. Like on this training exercise, I've made a list of about 10 new items that I figured I needed to get for this kit to make it more functional. Uh, the one thing I don't have in here right now Probably the most important thing with what lives in this spot, RF connectors. Having that ability to hook in from one piece of cable to another piece of cable uh, and to make something work is probably the most valuable piece of tool that I have here. But keep in mind, you may never see those connectors again because they may get left on the incident. So you may end up just writing some stuff off sometimes. So uh, don't go cheap, but don't go too expensive. Uh, they're like like my analog phones. They're they're ten dollar phones. If I have to abandon them, it's real easy to abandon them. I don't get overly upset. Um, but having a good supply of everything, you're not going to cover all things. The other thing that I really like is having a scanner. Uh, this allows me to you know when I hit the ground, I can program the local frequencies in for the area that I'm at to get a good idea of what's going on and start listening to traffic and different things. Again, this can be programmed off any computer. You buy these things for like $125. So again, um, overall individual things don't cost a lot, but collectively they do. Try to mark everything with your call sign or your information so at least people know that it's yours. Do you have an example of how you mark things? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like on here, I put KM6RFB on here for my call. You'll notice like a lot of my things up here have my call sign on it so I can find them again so it's real easy when, when, when people are going through things, oh, that belongs to so-and-so, like my butt set has my call on it. So I can find it again. It's, um, again, seems crazy, but, you know, if you want to see some of your stuff again, it's, um, it's easy to market, and uh, that way you can, you can get it back. A piece of coax cable 
Uh, you never know when you might need to hook up a TV or something that needs this type of coax. So again, you know, a lot of this stuff may be out of date, but depending on where you're going and what you're working with, it could be a, it could mean mission success or mission failure. How do what? Tell me about the the trays that you have. So this kit was actually repurposed. Um, you'll notice I, like like this up here says vitals. Um, Behind here, this says um, records. Re records and trauma. This was a, an ALS or an advanced life support box for medical that was being repurposed. And I grabbed it and I reconfigured everything to fit my needs. Um, so again, it, you don't have to spend a lot. You can repurpose whatever it works. And uh, there you go. How do the trays go back in? So the trays go back in. They stack on top of them. Put this back in. So the trays just literally let's see, that goes like that. And then I've got a piece of foam that sits over this, and on top of that is an inventory list of everything that's in here. So if I'm on an incident or working somewhere before I leave, I can quickly go through my inventory to ensure, A, I've got everything I've recovered. And when I get home, I can obviously say, oh, I need to have so many of these and so many of those. So I know my kit is always ready to go. And then I usually put either a padlock or some safety or seals on here. That way I know when I'm done and I seal it, I know the kit's back together. I don't, I don't wonder, well, did I get it back together? So like these real quick seals, I can put on and say, yeah, the kit's done. This allows me to know a quick check on w what I do out in the field. Nice. Um, just really handy to have. So if, if you're looking at doing this, even from an amateur radio standpoint, a public safety standpoint, this kit is really invaluable for any type of operation working with radios. Nice.